As the war in Ukraine intensifies, U.S. national security officials are sounding the alarm about a potential Russian cyber attack. Cybersecurity experts say that this could potentially impact public transit systems, banks, and energy sectors here in the U.S. Senior investigative correspondent Catherine Herridge joins us now for Washington for more. So, Catherine, I feel like we've been hearing a lot about potential attacks, but what makes this current threat different? Uh, Caitlin, given the current threat environment, cybersecurity officials have told CBS News if there is an attack, we can expect what amounts to a one-two punch. Uh, the first point would be the compromise of folks' personal information, and then the second, and significantly, the physical damage to networks that could, in fact, take weeks or months to repair, Caitlin. And does the intelligence mm -hmm. suggest a major attack is actually possible? Well, there are two components here. The first is that there is, unfortunately, a precedent. Around 2017, there was a major attack in Ukraine, a cyber attack that was blamed on Russia. And it had this cascading effect. It spread well beyond Ukraine and, at the end of the day, cost about $10 billion in damages. And the second is this FBI flash alert that's obtained by CBS News back in March. And it talks specifically about the increased surveillance of U.S. energy networks effectively searching for vulnerabilities. So imagine that someone is, is casing your house and they're shaking the door to see if it's locked. That's the kind of cyber activity they've seen in recent months. And, and can you give us a sense of what a major attack from Russia against the U.S. might look like? The experts we spoke to, Caitlin, talked about attacks that would specifically target U.S. infrastructure. So imagine an attack on the energy sector or on the financial sector. So you go to the ATM and your ATM card is not working or it's not dispensing cash. You go to get on public transit and the trains are kind of not running on time or they're very intermittent. And so there's general confusion with, with what I'll call sort of the pillars of our economy. And, and the goal is to not only create confusion, but in the worst case scenario here, also physically damage these networks so it takes a long time to get them back up and running, further undermining confidence among the American people. Oh, that's that's really scary, mm -hmm. and that's tangible mm -hmm. for, for people mm -hmm. to understand. For sure. um, mm -hmm. And what are your contacts saying about the fact that Russia has not yet launched a major attack against the U.S.? Well, the, the, the U.S. has laid out for the Russians what it calls sort of cyber red lines, that there cannot be attacks on, on critical infrastructure. So we've just talked about it, financials, transportation, communications, medical records, for example. But the issue for the Russians, and this is based on what I'm hearing from my contact, is that they have deep concern about the response they may see from the U.S. The U.S. has a very robust capability to respond, and that's where we get into this unintended consequences territory. Remember we talked about 2017 and this ripple effect? So a cascading effect of a cyber attack, and that just increases the risk a further escalation. So you can be looking at damage not only to the original target, but then also this offensive, if you will, a retaliatory uh, strike by the United States. And no one really understands how far that could ultimately stretch. Mm. Well, something to keep an eye on, especially as this mm -hmm. war intensifies, something we should all know. Thank you so much, Catherine, for your reporting. We appreciate your time. Mm -hmm.